Hi, welcome to my channel on this dark and rainy Saturday morning. I hope you guys can see with the lighting in here, but it's the perfect morning to come out here in my shop and work on something. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I dug through my stash, which is behind me here. I think I've mentioned it before, you know, that I collect things in thrift stores, garage sales. People sometimes give me things they don't want anymore. And if I see, you know, it may have potential eventually, I hang on to it and feel kind of pack radish at times, but it's so nice then to have that variety to go to if I'm in the mood to, you know, give a new look to something and I can kind of pick and choose what I want to do that day. Um, I have a building in front of me here up on the hill that also has some where I store some things and in the house I have a room where I store some things. So yeah, if you see anything you would like me to uh, redo soon here, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to it. I thought that way maybe I'd have some motivation to move some of these things out of the way, uh, make some more room for maybe different things. So this morning I found uh, the store here. It actually comes from an entertainment center that my parents had in their home. They just moved into. Um, they didn't want any more. It was kind of falling apart. Um, they uh, were going to throw it in the dumpster and I rescued this door. Uh, I'm sure you guys have done this before or a lot of you have. Um, I've done it many times where I've used an old door or a window and turn it into a chalkboard. So that's what I'll be doing today. Um, it'll just be a quick little video here on how I go about to do it. Um, it's very simple and again I'm sure this is nothing new for a lot of you but um, I thought I'd share it with you and uh, so follow me as I work on it and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I hope you guys can hear me. We have a decent rain going on out there right now. There's a tin roof over our heads, so um, it sounds really nice, but it's probably kind of hard for you to hear me. Eventually, I do want to get a microphone. Uh, for now, this will have to do. Um, but yeah, I'll be using Rust-Oleum's chalkboard paint. It's black, and uh, anytime when painting with spray paints, it's always best to apply numerous thin coats versus one heavy coat because it will run. Uh, in this case, the, the glass is, you know, horizontal, so there's no danger of it running, so I'll be able to apply a nice, you know, thick coat uh, the first time. Hey guys, so I wonder what you would do here. Uh, originally I had plans, you know, to have just keep the frame as it is, the dark brown, and uh, I'm not liking it so much now. I think it's because of the fake green. It's not a real wood, it's like a veneer, and it just looks a little fake to me. I do have a chalkboard like this in our home with the dark brown frame and, you know, the black uh, chalkboard that I really like, and I think I like it because it doesn't have that busy green. Uh, I mean, it, it looks okay but I think it would look even better uh, painted. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Rust-Oleum's chalked paint, uh, linen white, it's a kind I use a lot. I really love this stuff. And I probably would have done this first had I known what I want to begin with, but it's just my way of doing it. I don't think there's a right or wrong to it. Uh, but yeah, I do have to mask uh, you know, the chalkboard part off now so I don't you know, get any white on there, but um, I'm gonna see how that looks.
So as you can see, I did end up having some white paint slip underneath the newspaper here, land on my chalkboard, so I need to touch that up. I am now ready to sand the frame to distress it. I'm just using a fine grit sandpaper to, to do that. As usual, I use my Silhouette Cameo to cut out a stencil for the chalkboard, and uh, I do eventually want to make a tutorial on how I use that machine. I know many of you have asked for one, and I apologize that I haven't gotten around to it, but I promise you one day I will. And uh, this uh, design here is, you know, close to 36 inches long. I'm always so amazed at how, you know, what you can do with that machine. Uh, but I'm not very good at just freehand, you know, writing, so that's why I often just go uh, use the Silhouette Cameo, even for chalkboards. So, um, what I have here is a menu. I am planning a, an outdoor garden party in the near future, and I have the menu all planned out. So I thought I may as well just use uh, that menu, what I am, you know, planning on having, and uh, creating the design, and then applying it on the board to show you guys. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So here it is, all finished. Of course it's not you know, perfect, but it's okay. I like how the frame uh, turned out. It's nice and smooth with that chalked paint. And the letters did take a lot of time to fill in with that chalk. Um, I think because the letters are so small, it just took longer than I expected, but it's okay. I'll use the board for that garden party that I had talked about, so it'll be put to use before you know, I have to erase it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I want to thank all of you for watching and for taking the time to post all those nice comments. I always read each and every one of them. Even though I can't always answer, I do read them, and I really appreciate them. So thank you for that. And um, yeah, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.